Hello guys and welcome back to Palea. So, I know a lot of people just started playing the game recently and probably a lot of people haven't reached level 10 in any of them professions. So today I want to give you a little heads up. What's going to happen once you reach level 10, level 20? What's the maximum level that you can reach on every skill and what is the significance of every level that you can reach? Hello there, lady. For every skill, you have one NPC that has a uh, guild shop. For example, for guarding skill, uh, you have to talk to Badru for pretty much all your gardening needs. And as you can see, depending on the level that you are... First of all, the guild shop unlocks when you reach uh, level 2 on your skill. And once it's unlocked, every single level up that you have is going to unlock some new item available for purchase in a guild shop. For example, seed collector, you can get, uh, I'm assuming, in level 2. Uh, standard watering can, basically, as you level up, you can upgrade your tools. You can unlock new fertilizer, preserves jar. My, uh, So I just, I just reached level 10 in farming, in my gardening skills. So I've unlocked pretty much... All the main recipes now so there's basically four levels that are significant for every single profession it's level 10 level 20 level 25 and level 50 and let me tell you the significance of every single level once you reach level 10 you unlock uh, a lot of uh, purchases that you can make uh, using the gardening metals or whatever skill you have the shop open metals how do you get these metals well, that one is pretty easy. If you go to uh, to your accomplishments on the map, you'll be able to see uh, a bunch of weekly challenges for every profession that you have reached level 10 in. For me, it's uh, at the moment uh, foraging, gardening, and hunting. The whales will keep the game alive. I really hope so. Sweet skills! Well, the skills are pretty sweet, not gonna lie. When you level up a skill, you earn medals to spend in the skill shop. Track down the skill representative to see what is for sale. And if you collect, uh, if you do all the challenges during this week, you can collect 100 medals per skill per week. But you have to reach level 10 to unlock this feature. You can also get, get the medals if you level up your skill above level 10. So for each level up, you're actually not getting that much. You're only getting 10 coins per level up, which is barely anything. So the, your main source of coins is probably going to be the weekly challenges. And there's a lot of items that you can spend these coins on. For example, for, uh, for foraging... The skills, uh, the, the challenges were collect forage. Basically, you had to just uh, collect some items, chop a bunch of trees, and chop some magical trees, which is not the difficult at all. Where did the Badru go? I was I was talking to you, man. That was just rude. All right. So there is also certain things that you start unlocking uh, at a higher levels. For example, certain items uh, unlock at level 15. There's one very fancy item. That unlocks at level 15. Gardener's Cornucopia. This looks pretty sick, by the way. And if you want to get multiple of these, you're gonna be have to, you're gonna have to grind for a long time to get 560 medals. You're gonna probably grind for around five weeks. It's gonna be five weekly challenges worth, plus maybe six level ups. You're gonna get in those five weeks, which is a lot. It's over months to get this item. And for example, you cannot get more of these, as far as I know. You can only buy them from the shop. So. You're gonna have to, if you want to make a couple of these, it's gonna take you forever to farm. So I hope they introduce some way to maybe instead of getting this item, you get the recipe for the item. So you can craft multiple of these without having to spend the gardening metals. And then the crop de la crop, the level 20 unlock, is usually like a very, very fancy item for each profession. For example, for gardening, Great oaks grow uh, from little acorns, but anything grows in this greenhouse. Wow! So, 
I cannot wait to get gardening level 20 and get... Like, I wonder if it's just... If it's just a decorative thing or if it's actually usable and you can actually grow things in it. Because that would be super cool. That would be amazing. It, it might be even worth farming multiple of these. And this is going to take, let's say, nine weeks, which is like two months of grinding just to get this thing. I'm definitely grinding for it. I'm getting this. I don't care. I'm getting gardening, Gardener's gr Grow House as soon as I can. So, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm almost there. I just need a couple hundred more medals, you know? <laughs> So this is level 10. Level 20 basically unlocks your final item that you can buy in each guild's shop. Now, there is also levels 25 and 50 that are also significant. And here is how. If you go to your accomplishments, you can see certain skills. For example, let's talk about guarding again. Uh, as I reached level 10, I unlocked uh, the bronze trophy. Here it is. Beautiful bronze gardening trophy. And you can get three trophies per skill first one you get at level 10 second one you get at level 25 and you think 25 is uh difficult to get the final trophy golden one look at how beautiful this thing is i cannot wait to display it on my property you get it when you reach a level 50 15 gardening Mark my words, one day I'm going to have a whole room that's going to be full of trophies for every single profession and all of them are going to be gold. <laughs> ah, that's going to take forever. Anyway, uh, so yeah, level 20 and level, uh, level 25 and level 50 are also pretty significant because these trophies are a big deal. Now, I'm wondering, nobody knows right now. I've heard people saying that there is no skill cap. Which makes sense, because you do get points for leveling up, so if there is... There's probably no reason to have a skill cap, so you could technically go to level 100, probably. But above level 50, there is nothing to be gained from leveling up your profession, except a couple medals. Maybe it actually is gonna scale up, maybe you're gonna get more uh, medals the higher level you are. I hope so, because that makes sense. But also, I don't know if you actually need more experience for each next level like is it gonna take 10 times longer to get from level 49 to 50 as from level 9 to 10 i don't know maybe there is still a lot of things to learn about this game but there is a lot of achievements most of them just give you renown uh wow i didn't even know these things are exist so you need to craft a bunch of items quality carrot harvester well that's just great <laughs> So, my advice to all the players who haven't reached level 10 yet would be to reach level 10. Thank you, Star and Sky. What a beautiful advice. No, but seriously, if you reach level 10, you unlock a whole next level to the game. Those medals are extremely valuable and can unlock the r rarest items in the game. So, what I would do, I would pick one, two, maybe three skill stops and I would just focus on leveling them up. Check out my focus guide because I have... Uh, I have the focus guide, or if I haven't uploaded it yet, it might be coming soon, but I think I already uploaded it by the time you see this video. Basically, how to maximize the amount of XP you're getting, so you can get as uh, to, to level 10 as fast as possible. Some skills are going to be easy, like foraging. Some skills are going to be difficult, like bug catching, probably the hardest skill to get to level 10. Uh, f for me, fishing is also... I mean, furniture making is going to be extremely difficult. You're going to have uh, use a lot of wood. You you're gonna be you're gonna have to deforestate the whole paleo ten, ten times over to get enough furniture uh, to get to level ten furniture making. But the recipes you unlock might be worth it. And all those shiny trophies. How can you even get level fifty in furniture making? It it doesn't it doesn't compute in my mind. But anyway, I feel like level twenty. After level 20, it's kind of going to feel very slow and not not very motivating to keep upgrading your skills. I feel like we should be getting some additional boosts from leveling. For example, not just uh, like Renown or Metals. We should also be getting certain buffs. Ooh, Flow Tree. One shot. Get wrecked. <laughs> 
uh, certain buffs, like for example, for the tree chopping, maybe the higher level we are, the higher swing speed we have with the axe. Or for furniture making, uh, maybe we have a chance to, I don't know, potentially not use the items when we craft. Like the higher your level, the higher chances of saving your materials. Mm -hmm. For cooking, maybe we can have a chance of crafting additional meals as we level up, like the higher level you are. It just makes sense to me. Right now, it feels like even past level 10, it feels very slow. You feel very limited increases after level 10. And I feel like after level 20, is going to feel like you're not going to have any motivation to level up past level 20 at all. So this could keep the game fresh. Like mining could give you a chance to drop maybe Palium or from regular nodes, like very small chance and the higher chance, the higher level, the higher chance. Like there's a lot of options they could do to make levels feel more significant. So once again, it's a very early access, very early in the life of Palea. I'm hoping so. So if you're watching developers, I, I, I think I gave you a couple good ideas. Maybe, maybe you can implement some of them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what do you think. Uh, how many skills do you have above level 10 already? And also make sure to do all of your challenges every single week. They're not that difficult, so try to grind as many medals as you can. It's gonna, it's gonna be worth it in the end to get those nice, fancy, shiny items. Alright, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and take care. Mm -hmm.